from Mabel's All Day has been standing by right here with a hot pan and some bread. And so fresh asparagus is on the menu. Thanks, Sam, for coming on here. Thank today. you for having us. Of We're going to make a um, local asparagus salad. Okay. Uh, kind I like of summer it. vibes. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of grilled ciabatta, our fresh mozzarella, and then we're going to toss it all together. It's going to be warm and um, fresh and just a perfect summer style salad. Okay, but we're not cooking the asparagus, are we? We're or? not cooking, no. Nope. Okay, so you did feed me an asparagus a little bit ago, and it was delicious. I didn't know you could yeah. eat raw asparagus either. Yeah, so this is a locally grown asparagus by um, a gal here at Asparagus Acres. Her name's Kayla, and we have just fallen in love with it. It is, um, you know, it's just almost like a spring pea flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet, not like your woody asparagus that you get at a grocery store. I know exactly store. what you mean, too. So when I say we're going to use this for a salad, it's part of the salad. Mm -hmm. It's what makes it taste good. It's, you know, that freshness, that, um, that green flavor that mm -hmm. you get from it. So I see the salad part. It's mm -hmm. it's really good too. If you haven't like tried fresh asparagus at home, I mean this is it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do for the salad is we need like um, a different component, like a crunchy component and um, char flavor. So mm -hmm. we take our ciabatta and we just took this and cut like large chunks okay. out of it. And we sprinkled it with a little olive oil and sea salt and mm -hmm. uh, black pepper. And we're just we're not looking to make it. Uh, like a crouton texture, like really hard. Yep, just blackening. We're just getting some blackening, some okay. char to it, and that's what the flavor um, that we're wanting comes from. Comes some from. salt yeah. and pepper. Yep. So we can put that on there, yep. and as that's kind of browning and doing what it does, we're going to shave our asparagus and tear mm -hmm. up some mozzarella. So we've got okay. fresh mozzarella here. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get this at your at your local store and. The, you want the soft one, yep. you know, not like your hard pizza the style. The one that comes in a shredding. ball sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. And if you want to shred up a couple of those, and you're just pulling it like big kind chunks. of chunks. Yeah. And I will start cutting up some asparagus. Yeah. And on the asparagus, we're just going to take, and we're going to cut like long, thin strips. Mm -hmm. And just okay. run your knife right up. So usually, because you're calling this a salad too, and whenever I think of a salad, I think of definitely lettuce. Yeah. So this is kind of a modern twist. Right. Yeah. So lettuce is definitely. Is this how you want it? Or perfect. Bigger? That's, yeah, or, that's perfect. Okay. Lettuce. You could you could add lettuce to this yeah. too. You could add some arugula or. Mm, nice um, and fresh too. You know. Because you at Mabel's all day, you try and outsource. I feel like a lot of local ingredients. We try to. Yeah. I mean, North Dakota has a lot of great produce that's available. Uh, we like to use Forager Farms as well. Mm -hmm. um, we use local meats from Black Lake Ranch. Um, Kurt Stanley supplies our lamb when oh, we wow. do lamb. Okay, so you really outsource so a lot locally. We, we try, yeah. Um, so see how the asparagus is just real super thin like that, mm -hmm. almost th just... It's like cracker uh, thin, almost. Yeah, exactly. So, so it takes a little bit of time to do the slicing though. Yeah, and, and you know, it's kind of fun. You can do this ahead of time. You can even have your kids help you out mm -hmm. if you want and just tell them to try to get as thin as they can. Tell them to wash their fingers. <laughs> but if you don't feel like making this at home too, you do have this on your food truck. We do, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is one of our salads that we're doing on our food truck. So How much more do I go? Keep going? That or? is perfect. perfect. So look okay. at these like just little grill marks on them. Uh -huh. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. So okay. little black. Okay. Little black, yep. yep. So our asparagus, now we're going to just toss Put that right in there with our mozzarella. Mm -hmm. And we made a little vinaigrette, just simple vinaigrette with whole grain mustard, uh, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, um, pretty, oregano. Pretty, okay. Yeah, just a pretty, almost, it's a little bit tart mm -hmm. too. Oh, it's a little bit more acidic than you want because you want it to kind of go against the sweetness of this too. Plus, mm -hmm. we're going to put a balsamic on there. Yep, okay. Which adds to the sweetness. So, we're going to dress that. And what I like to do is toss this stuff first before I add the other components, just so you know that the asparagus and the mozzarella get dressed well. Mm -hmm. That's a key so takeaway. So you can just take Go in one there? hand and kind of, yeah, just massage it a little and okay. toss it. So this is where the love comes out. Exactly. <laughs> and so you have a busy summer coming ahead for you. We do, um, yeah. Starts off this Saturday. Yep. Um, we've been over at Runnings. We opened up last week for our, um, so we're going to add some pistachios okay. to this too. Any coating on the pistachios or are they just deshelled? Nope. They're already deshelled and salted, so you can just get these and um, 
okay. and just add them right in. They add a wonderful saltiness to it. So more crunch. More crunch. But yeah. um, you've been at Runnings. Been at Runnings for the last two weeks, and it's been great. Like, our customers are so happy to see us out and about again yeah. in the big truck, you know, and um, it's just really fun to connect with our, our customers in that way. Uh -huh. um, we can really... We can really get a chance to just talk yeah, to them and, nice. and yeah. see them and, you know, it's I so know, fun. I know every time I come visit you, I, I end up talking to you for like 20 minutes. It's hard. But yeah, you're so friendly and I'm nice and your whole, hey, we like it, we love it. <laughs> so, okay, this is perfect. See how that's nice and dressed? So what mm -hmm. we're going to do now is just take this and if you feel it, it's still got a crunch to it, but oh, yeah, still it has still some moist. softness. Yeah. yeah, nice. So we're going to crunch or um, crush a couple of these up, just tear them, put them in there. And keep... And even put a more little bit dressing? more, yeah, okay. just a little bit more dressing on it. So they're croutons, but not quite. I see what you mean. Exactly. So, oh. Yeah. I'm am I going? Over, am I oh, squishing that in there too? Yep. Or just not squishing massage it. it. Okay. And then we are pretty much done. Yeah, not too bad with at that all. Salad. No. See how easy it comes together. Super. I think I'm gonna like this too. And then what we'll do is we will um, plate it up on that little plate over there. Okay. I can give that to you. If you want to plate it up. Absolutely. And so, yeah, this weekend we're actually going to be at um, Biz Market okay, over at Kiwanis fun. Park. So that's the first uh, farmer's market of the season. Uh -huh. And we're there pretty much every Saturday unless we're booked for a, a special event. Uh -huh. And then actually this Saturday after the market, we're going to be at the, uh, the rodeo in St. Anthony at Rusty's. Okay. So that's it's going to be day. super fun. Yeah, it'll okay. be uh, a great day. And you know, there's so much, so much to do. Mm -hmm. And the summertime, everyone wants to get out and have fun and be mm -hmm. outdoors. So that, that's what we're Oh, absolutely. Pushing. Especially, too. I mean, so are you going to have the salad on Saturday? We oh, will. Okay. I think okay. we will, yeah. Perfect. If we don't sell out <laughs> this week. <laughs> hey, that's a good thing to sell yeah. out, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so we're just going to put this on a plate here. So see how our asparagus and our pistachios mm. and everything. How did you come up with this? Or you just kind of go based off the fresh ingredients that you get and kind of just see, is that where, I mean, you're a chef, so. Well, a lot of it is flavors and profiles, but uh, you know, my wife. Okay. <laughs> she, she is a foodie and she loves good. good food and she has wonderful taste in food. So uh, a lot of these are ideas that she has too. And I just kind of like, Go off she of she that. has an idea and I conceptualize it and say okay, this is how we can put it in place. So she's the brains behind the whole she operation. She is the brains right. for sure. I hope she heard that. What's her name? Abby. All right, Abby. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so then you do this balsamic right on top. This is a balsamic glaze, so it's a little mm. bit sweet. So our salad is just you know that looks we've delicious. got textures and flavors in there. We've got salty. We've got grilled. We've got sweet. I we have this spring this pea asparagus flavor and the creaminess of the mozzarella and everything. All right. And it's like every, yeah, every texture almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys all get this at the food truck. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I mean, the asparagus alone didn't even need anything to begin, but you made it better. Right. <laughs> well, well. well, we are happy to be able to provide food like this to the community, so. Mm -hmm. No, it's awesome. All right, let's talk about the food truck again, though. You're not open today, but you are. We are open tomorrow. The, yep. So Wednesday through Friday at Runnings, mm -hmm. um, 11 to 7. Saturdays we are at uh, Kiwanis Park for the Biz Market, yep. 10 to 2. Okay. And then, yeah, other days we're out with uh, special events. And so check the website, I'm assuming, and then kind of update where you're located yep. after that. So we have okay. a calendar uh, on mablesallday.com, and it'll tell you where we're at for the week. And you can always see us on Instagram and see what we have going for specials each day. Well, last question. How often does your menu rotate? Or, do, or is it kind of consistent? So we have our consistent items, but um, we try to put in some weekly specials, something new. Okay. Um, lobster rolls. We're going to be oh, doing this week, too. I know those are yeah. a hot commodity. <laughs> so, I know they are. So Facebook's we'll be doing lobster rolls <laughs> again this week. And um, yeah, yeah. We right. try to switch it up a little bit when we can. Awesome. Well, Sam Williams, thank you so much um, for coming down here today. This is amazing. I am going to keep eating this. Yeah, please do. <laughs> In the Z-Line Kitchen at Advantage Appliance, thank you. Thanks for having us. Keep it here. More to come on North Dakota today after this.